glaciers melting, rivers disappearing, storms, hurricanes. These are all uh, signs to tell us take this seriously. I'm Masago Zukifle, the Minister for Environment and Water Resources. So one, of course, is water bottle. Uh, we used to just buy mineral water off the shelf. It was, it's very easy. I mean, you just buy, you, buy, you just throw away. This linear way of looking at things, buy, use and dispose, is what's damaging the earth. So we have to recycle it or put it in a loop that we use it again and again and that's the way we preserve the earth. These two, two, two shirts are, are also very interesting things. This is a, a, a product that's made from six pet bottles. This is a, a, a jacket. Uh, it's also made from uh, poly polyester and, and pet bottles. If you recycle clean plastics and separate them properly, you can actually produce good beautiful products. Uh, if you throw uh, your bottles and you don't clean it, even a little bit of sugar on, on, on the bottle, when you draw the thread to make this, this uh, fabric, it will break. Which is why it is important for us to separate our waste from food. But the other thing we all should be using more of are uh, uh, reusable utensils. I use this uh, at home, uh, my wife and I, when we eat and we have leftovers. We just put it in our reusables and put it in the fridge. So first thing, understand how much food we are wasting. 700,000 tons a year. That's equivalent to each of us throwing away two bowls of rice every day. It produces many problems. Number one, food waste is something you truck from your home to, to the incineration plant to reduce this food waste further down to, to ash. So it's a lot of wastage, food waste, energy waste, and then space waste later on when we dump it into Samakau. And finally, there's something that uh, I think many young people don't do anymore, handkerchief. Many of us carry tissue papers and you know, I think they damage the, 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 the environment. So, I mean, it looks like an old man to carry a handkerchief. But really, this is one, one of the recyclable, reusable things that you should keep. We have to understand what our decisions are doing to the environment and to, to use as little of the resources as possible. At the same time, when you need to dispose of it, disposing it responsibly is how we have to live in the future. From food waste, you can produce biogas and this biogas can be used to produce electricity and so forth. Plastic, we are thinking of putting it uh, into a process that will produce what we call new oil. Zero waste can be achieved first through technology and there are solutions to the kind of things that we need to do. When before all that happens, all of us must put our best foot forward. So we are carrying on the campaign that we had last year, the Year Towards Zero Waste Singapore. One of the things that we want to ensure what our children, our students learn in school, they will carry on through their life. And then therefore, we think that the best people to make sure that the youth continue to be aware, be advocates for the environment, is to support them with this cause. The thing that I can do best is to put the laws and the framework for today and for the future. But the youth are the people who are going to live in this future. And therefore, they have a stake to make sure every one of their peers take this seriously too. It is not something that we only a few people need, uh, need to be bothered with and then uh, everything is solved. It is something we have to do together.